Before we start, please hear a message from International News Today Network. Starting today, for every subscriber, International News Today Network will plant one tree to save our planet. Please help contribute in saving our planet by subscribing to our channel. One subscriber equals one tree. Thanks. There were no safe roads leading to where we were going. But then again, the people we were visiting specialize in forging paths where there are none. The fighters who took this village, Klinavoya, they go by many different names. They're known as the Wagner Group. They're known as the Orchestra of Wagner or just as the musicians. Very little is known about them, but the name itself is one that keeps Western politicians, presidents, prime ministers and generals awake at night. We turn now to something called the Wagner Group. The EU has announced sanctions on the Russian private military company Wagner. As sure, so the Wagner Group, as we know it, first uh, popped up in Ukraine. The British Defence Ministry says more than a thousand fighters from Russian private military contractor the Wagner Group are being deployed to the country. The Russian mercenary group Wagner is recruiting and is making it known. And not just them. Kiev, too, has learned to fear the world's most talked about and enigmatic private military company. The whistling sound you heard was not an audio artifact. That was the sound of Ukrainian cluster mine rockets disgorging hundreds of banned PFM-1 mines, which characteristically flutter down to the ground. Banned by the Ottawa Anti-Personnel Mine Convention, which Ukraine is party to. For weeks now, they have attempted to stall or at least slow the orchestra's advance by carpet bombing the countryside with banned butterfly mines and other things besides. Here's a surprise left behind by Ukrainian troops, nationalists, as they retreated from Klinavoya. You may see this very thin wire. Careful, careful, back. And over there, something that shouldn't even be here, a Mon-50 anti-personnel mine, which Ukraine signed a convention promising it would never use and it would destroy. What the ensemble's sappers can remove safely, they do. What they can't, or what they deem could be a trap, they blow. The time is set for 150 seconds. It's going to be quite the bang. We're push time stay. This was a rare opportunity. The musicians do not usually take kindly to outsiders. They work alone. Where they operate, cameras are almost always absent. See. The conditions that they work in are a permanent health hazard. Artillery and mortar duels here are deafening and endless. Ten minutes do not pass without an impact nearby. Off they go, a 120 millimeter mortar team firing it. Ukrainian positions. They've got to be fast. One, two, three, before enemy counter battery fire kicks in. Kiev has thrown everything it could spare at the ensemble. Ukrainian special forces units, the nationalist battalion Aydar, and the elite 10th mounted assault brigade are all arrayed against them here. Thousands of mines, an avalanche of shells and rockets Nothing's helped. 